Professor Murray, uh, first of all, your reaction to what we saw this morning in the Judiciary Committee's meeting on this, uh, which then preceded this procedural vote on the Senate floor tonight, where we finally got to see what the final vote count is going to be. Well, again, I think we saw a reprise of what we saw last week, which is the Republicans manufacturing objections to a jurist that many of them voted to confirm just a year earlier. And when I say manufacture, I mean manufacture because they really had to come up with a lot of things in order to justify not voting for Judge Jackson this time around. She's an absolutely qualified, superlatively qualified nominee, and it was unfortunate that she couldn't get bipartisan support out of the committee. But she will go forward, and I think it's likely she will be the next associate justice of the Supreme Court. So this will have a happy ending. But it's unfortunate that the Republicans could not be a part of this historic nomination. Professor Goodwin, it is all over. It is all over, but the final roll call vote uh, on the Senate floor, we now know what that vote's going to be, 53-47, three Republicans, including this time Mitt Romney. Uh, and so we have a bipartisan vote, it can fairly be called, uh, and we have, we now know who the next Supreme Court justice is going to be. What has it been like for you? What have you learned? What have we learned in going through this confirmation process? As a nation, we've learned that we've come far in some ways, and yet there's so much further to go. As the clip that you showed uh, with Senator Cory Booker asking the question, how qualified does a Black woman need to be? That was the part that was not spoken. Historically, we've heard the language of twice as good as, and here what you saw in some ways three times as good as we saw a process that uh, was supposed to be rigorous, but turned out to be disrespectful. We saw a process where not only uh, was there a kind of harsh and harmful conduct towards Judge Jackson, but we also saw the trampling of the rule of law, questions about the legitimacy, even questioning the legitimacy of aspects of our Constitution. We saw a kind of battering against individuals who would serve our country as public defenders and federal defenders. There's a lot more to be alarmed by in this than just Judge Jackson's, uh, the, the way in which he was treated by Republican members of the Senate Judiciary Committee. I think that these hearings represented what we must be concerned about in terms of the future of our American democracy based on the conduct and the questions that were asked, which are really quite serious and that implicate reproductive health and rights, that implicate uh, LGBTQ equality, that implicate the First Amendment, and so much more.